Hi everyone, this is Rachel. I am coming here to talk to you about, I'm going to dive into planning. So I've always, you know, kept a calendar, things like that, but I've never done the modern day planning quotes, um, you know, with stickers and all of that. And I don't know, I never wanted to take that kind of time to do those kind of things. But after watching some very uh, creative people using planners, I started thinking, sorry if you hear my dog in the background, guys. <laughs> um, but I started thinking about, could that be a way for me to be accountable? right? For a way of um, tracking and getting things done that I want to accomplish and holding myself accountable for those things, uh, tracking what I did get done. Um, also, you know, just the memory keeping aspect of it. Um, I was watching Linda Loves Creating on YouTube and she does a Hobonichi cousin and um, how she refers back to her journal, her, her calendar, her cousin, to see what she's done um, each day, each week for her project life because we don't always do that on a weekly right? Sometimes we get very, very busy. I know I do. Um, so instead of trying to remember what happened, she has something to go by. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. Then I seen a lady on YouTube buy, she went to Walmart. She had heard about these and it's a set of 12 little daily planners. And it's like, a passport size or so um, comes in this box and it's like, I don't know, five, six, seven bucks. Uh, my Walmart didn't have it, but I was able to order it online with some other items and get it shipped for free. So that worked for me. Um, but they're really cute little daily journals, um, uh, planners, right? Um, and this is what they look like. So a little notes section. Um, and then it's broken down into daily goals, priorities, morning, afternoon, evening, the day, you know, day of the week, you know. And so I thought, well, that would be a really good way to see if it's something I would like without investing in a big planner and like uh, like the Hobonichi Cousin that a lot of people love using that I've seen all over YouTube. Um, but this way I can kind of see if, if this is something I really want to do. Of course, this is going to take me a little time first to get used to it figure out what I want to be putting in it, um, things like that, which can change over time, and it, it does for a lot of people. Um, but there's a lot of ways to use this. Um, if the lady who I watched on YouTube has some uh, other videos about uh, different ways that you can use these, not just... Um, what to document, but I mean, like physically, like she's taken these apart and put them in a different, has covers for them, those kind of things. And her YouTube channel is Scrap Craftastic. I'll say that again because it's a little bit of a mouthful and it might be hard to understand, but it's Scrap Craftastic. So, um, she gives us uh, some different ways that she has explored how to use these. So, with that being said, you know, a lot of people have um, 
different planner stickers. They have different items. Uh, there's a lot of shops out there that uh, sell different stickers and kits and things specifically for planning, but also specifically for different types of planners so that they are sized to work in those planners. So a lot of them uh, have like the Hobonichi Cousin uh, stickers, you know, planner stickers that are, are specifically sized for that planner. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of others too. I just happened to notice that a lot of people like the Hobonichi Cousin and so a lot of the shops have um, sell those stickers. But I wanted to use, this is not your typical planner. I wanted to use stuff from my stash before investing into these kind of things. So um, I got the, the planners and it is, as you can see, look at the colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And there is a dozen of them. So I'm starting this with the beginning of June. And um, so you would think, okay, you only need six. But I'm doing two separate different ones. So I'm going to see how this goes throughout the year, the rest of the year. So I did buy um, a couple of things. But a lot, most of the stuff is from my stash. So... I already had these uh, sticker books in my scrapbooking stash. Let me see where my cat got a hold of this, <laughs> which it didn't hurt anything, as you can see. Um, but a lot of these I got, I didn't get for planning. I got for scrapbooking and card making purposes. And a lot of these are aimed at that, but a lot of it is also for planners, right? Uh here is the Create 365 uh, brand of um, planner stickers and stuff like that. These were just some stickers from my stash that I had. Um, as you can see, we got Jen Hadfield. We got Paige Evans. Um, more of the 365s. This is nothing but alphas and numbers. Um, you can see the, there's a planner on top of this, so there's a lot of planning. But a lot of these stickers are too big for what I need, but um, that's okay. You know, I, I can still use a lot of these, um, like I used one right here. Um, oh, and the balloons, too, because my daughter's birthday was this month. Um, so... We'll, we'll see how this goes. And it's also using up some of my my actual stash, right? Um, I had lots and lots of washi tape. Um, I also have some solid color washi. This came from Hobby Lobby. It's the Paper Studio brand um, that fits nicely in this. I did buy a couple of things. One, I bought this stand here to hold the pins and uh, it has a drawer and a little shelf area here. No, I did not buy all these. I already had all of these Tombow markers. So um, I've been using these for years. Um, I just have a couple of highlighters down here. The only problem is these were bright colors, which kind of don't work with the color thing, but I have them here anyway, just in case. And I did buy these. Um, this was something that some people were using. I'm going to move this back. I got this off of Amazon. It's a dual tip, so it's got a marker end, but then it has a dot. So on this dot in, um, you can just lightly tap it. It gets a little dot. Hold it a little longer, a medium. Hold it a little longer, and it's a, a, a larger dot. Um, I thought this would be great uh, to use to even highlight and stuff like that. Um, but I went ahead and ordered these because, well, I can use these in my regular 
scrapbooking and things like that. So it wasn't going to be a waste for me. I'm being very careful about getting anything that I couldn't use somewhere else. Another thing that I purchased, um, I already had these, um, which were from Avery. Again, they're bright colors, but they do work with these. <laughs> but um, they're, they're, they're nice, and they, would, they could be a pretty good size in here. But I got these. Um, and I think Linda Looks Creating had these. Um, and these are little washi tape dots. And it comes just like this. Um, so they're very muted colors, but colors that could go with a lot of different things. I've only opened this one just to see what it was like. And as you can see, they're just washi dots. They come right off. Right. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Put that back. And so you get a variety of color in each one of these. And you can see the, the size difference, right? Um, so I'm not sure if they'll work in this or not. Um, again, I didn't mind buying this because I can use this. Um, in my regular scrapbooking stuff um, as bullet points for journaling um, and things like that. I did get one other thing and hold on just a second because I forgot to bring it over here because of the fact that um, I was trying to set it up a little bit. And so I got this. Again, no big deal if I purchase this because I can always use it. Um, so it's got a little drawer right here, little handles to pick it up, and it has little dividers that you can put in or take out, depending on what you want to put in here. And I was just kind of seeing what the size was for things. This is just some of the washi that I pulled out different sizes. Some of them you can tell were, I got from Washi um, collections. Um, like this has the days of the week, right? Or I mean, see the months of the year with the days on it, but it's quite wide. It would be a little harder to use in something like this. Um, unless I was wanting to use up some space, right? Um, again, let's see, just numbers, uh, little bullet points that you could put down. Days of the week in gold. Again, days of the week, or not days of the week. It's week, year, time, day, uh, little flags. You could cut those apart if you wanted. So things that I already had in my stash. Um, I was just trying to see, you know, if I had some that were, you know, that I could specifically use. I was just kind of pulling a few to see how much I could fit in here and, and stuff like that. So I haven't really set this up yet. Again, I can put pins here, like I got a couple of these pins. Um, over here on this little shelf on the first one, I got a little adhesive thing, a little uh, Cricut tool, um, and a ruler, a little teeny ruler. So these I can use to help tear washi or draw straight lines, things like that. I just had it sit here, but I could put them here like that. The, the adhesive is because of the fact that some of these stickers or washi's a little older. Um, and to make them stick better, I'm putting a little adhesive on the back side if I find it's a little um, not as tacky as it, I would like it to be. So I'm just going to be leaving these, these uh, things like right here to use. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So... 
what I'm doing is I'm doing, I'm, I have a label maker, so I just put June. He's a little crooked. I don't care. Uh, calendar slash journal. So as you can see, I'm just taking some of my own stickers and markers and stuff. And I'm just putting in here. So I'm covering up like the morning, uh, afternoon, evening areas, um, to do's, things to get done, my daily goal and priorities for the day. A lot of times this is work related. Um, just journaling a little bit, decorate anything that I want. I use my label maker to put um, the actual date. Uh, you can see this was to celebrate my daughter's birthday. Um, and so that's what I'm doing in here. Got right here, got a little shopping list of a few things that I noticed I needed to get. Um, things like that. So, and I am moving forward. Uh, I'm trying to decorate a little bit in advance. You can see here um, so that I can... Like, I put this here because I already knew uh, that I had that going for that day, right? So, I went ahead and put it there. Um, I'm also, to help f keep track of where I'm at, I have little um, magnetic little page markers that um, I bought at uh, Joann's in the, their little dollar spot area, right? So... I just use those little bookmark things. So this one, I'm doing a habit tracker. Now, I will say not much has been written in here yet. I got a lot of stuff I wrote down somewhere else because um, for the first part of this process, I was actually house and pet sitting for a friend, so I wasn't home. So I was trying to do a little bit, but um, I wasn't, I had everything marked somewhere else, really. Um, so I really haven't, I got to put what I wrote down and put it actually in here, um, which is, uh, my, my exercise, my water intake, my, uh, reading, um, my priorities or what I want to get done, which I, I wrote this stuff down over here. Um, so I got to just catch up on that. So that's what I'm doing, as you can see. I did write something there when I had the chance the other day. Um, just a little bit. Um, but that's what I'm doing with the journal stuff. Well, I'll see how it goes. And um, if it's something I want to keep doing. Um, I just didn't want to spend a lot of money like what the cost of a Hope and Eat Your Cousin is. And it would be something that I don't want to do. I find out. No, I don't like doing this. I don't want to do this. I can't keep this up. I don't like it, whatever. And uh, then I've spent all that money. Um, so this was a good alternative to see if I like doing this or not. Um, and like I said, I'm doing two for each month because these pages are small. But I'm, I'm doing two separate kind of things here. So anyway, if you have any questions... Uh, put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them when I can, and we will see how this goes. I'll keep you uh, posted every once in a while to see how it goes, and uh, if anyone else is out there like me who's on the fence, this might be a way for you to, to test it and see if it's something you like to do. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.